Respiratory diseases worldwide are a major problem and a rising problem. Uh, right now it's estimated about, it affects 330 million people. Um, it's the third leading cause of death. It costs more than $2.1 trillion to care for these people. Rising air pollution and smoking is the main cause, leading to diseases like COPD and emphysema. So we just discovered a whole new function of P73 that uh, was completely unknown, which is it uh, maintains, actually it allows respiratory health. Uh, specifically, in fact, it makes a certain cell type that's critically important for the conducting airways, upper and lower airways, that bring air to our lungs to breathe. So P73 makes these multiciliated cells that are absolutely critical for keeping the airways clean because they produce a conveyor belt uh, that cleans out the constantly um, inhaled pollutants, dust, uh, pathogens, viruses, bacteria, fungi uh, that are in the air. In our experiments, we looked at two types of mice that were engineered not to have P73 and compared them to normal mice. We call them wild-type mice. And there was a drastic difference. Here are normal multiciliated cells. Here are P73 deficient cells. They produce hardly any cilia. And if so, they are short stops. This is a similar image looking from top down, normal cilia and deficient cilia. This is the visualization of uh, a normal airway conveyor belt moving dust particles out. And you can see this directional nice flow in one direction. Here you see what happens when P73 is not present. Uh, essentially dust particles just wiggle around a little bit but do not move. So P73 we discovered is a master regulator of multiciliated cells. The way we got into this was by comparing normal mice, we call them wild type, with P73 deficient mice. We saw that in their uh, airways, here is a nasal cavity for example, uh, their airways instead of being air filled and clear are filled with mucus and pus. Uh, going further down the uh, airways into the lungs, you can see that here is a bronchus that's filled with inflammatory cells, here a bronchus uh, filled with uh, pus, with a mucus plug, and here is a pneumonia in fact, a bronchi a chronic bronchitis with a pneumonia. So the long-term effects of this chronic respiratory tract infection uh, is uh, a process called emphysema, which is really the final destruction of a gas exchanging alveolar lung surface. Our breakthrough finding in our Stony Brook lab now allows us large-scale population-based studies in people to look for defects in P73 airway function and identify those individuals that are at much higher risk to develop chronic lung disease spontaneously and even more so when they are exposed to air pollution or active and passive smoking. And moreover, with the progress made in regenerative medicine, correcting for defective P73 function in airways might be a promising therapeutic strategy in the long run.